I won't uh, talk with you about. Uh, <laughs> I, I talk with you in backstage, too, but uh, we need to talk because uh, I, I saw on the internet, in Instagram, Twitter, <laughs> a new rumor <laughs> with uh, Donovan Mitchell, man. Uh, do you do 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 you can talk, né, uh, about this new rumor about Donovan Mitchell? Yeah, well, we all know where it started, right? Because Rudy Gobert got traded. Um, yes. Everyone was instantly saying, well, Donovan Mitchell has to be next, right? They're not going to trade for all these draft picks and just keep Donovan Mitchell. And so far, I don't know if you've seen, uh, Ian Begley's been reporting on it a bit, where he's saying they kind of want, they think they're going to try to keep Donovan Mitchell build around him, see what happens, but it could pop up later that he's going to be available for trade. I'm predict if I'm just taking a guess, I think it might go up until the trade deadline. Like it won't happen this summer, but if a trade happens, it might be around the trade deadline, but who knows? We don't actually know. Right. So yeah, I, um, look, I'm kind of a Donovan Mitchell fan. I know, you're, I, know, I, know, I know you don't want to do this, but look, I just think with, we have all these extra draft picks, right? And you uh -huh. could say like, you know, we, wanted, we want someone else, like a couple years from now, maybe we trade for, I don't know, Devin Booker or someone else that could be available. But I just personally think Donovan Mitchell would be really good for the Knicks. And I'm going to tell you why, okay? Because everyone's been talking about this past year, right? He didn't really have – he still had a great year, but I think in the playoffs they didn't do very well. He wasn't kind of his typical all-star that he's been. And everyone's saying, oh, he's really not a superstar. He's just like a good player. But I actually think he is still a superstar, And that just his situation in Utah, clearly there was something wrong, right? Like him and Gobert weren't really meshing well. They were kind of, yes. it just felt like he was kind of in, in his own head. And I think if he got a new start with the Knicks, where he's from, he's from New York. I don't know if yes. everyone always likes to talk <laughs> about that. I always like to talk about this because I actually, I played against him in high school once. Um, wow. he was, he was great back then too. Uh, he dunked on my friend. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I would be for a trade if it was centered around draft picks. I'm not trading RJ Barrett at all. That's to me, stupid. I would not do that. Even me Emmanuel too. quickly, I wouldn't want to trade. I mean, You have to give up good good things, right, to get someone like Donovan Mitchell. So I would include one of our good young players. I mean, maybe you could put in Grimes or Reddish, a couple of guys, and then just give them, you know, four first-round picks. And then we have, you know, if we can keep Brunson, Mitchell, and R.J. Barrett, I mean, it's a pretty cool team. And yeah, I agree. And we would probably have to, so the salaries can kind of match, we'd probably have to include either Fournier or Randall in the trade just to make it work. So we'd be offloading one of those guys as well. I'm for it, personally. Um, but I understand why people are a little scared. Um, no, I like more. it. I like it. Yeah, sorry. I'll say one more thing. It does uh, scare me because he's pretty short. He's six one, uh -huh. I believe, and Brunson is also short. So having yes. Brunson and Mitchell, it's a little scary, maybe on defense. Um, but I think he's he's still just too cool for me to, to pass up on a trade. No, no man, man, uh, I, I like so much and uh, uh, Donovan Mitchell, but I, I I see it's a dream now for the Knicks for me. Nah. Man, uh, Donovan Mitchell in Knicks, man, I, I can, I can jump 
in the streets screaming Donovan Mitchell in the Knicks in Brazil. People uh, <laughs> people don't understand nothing, né? Because in Brazil, né? It's soccer, né? Uh, NBA in Brazil, compare it with soccer, né? But uh, I, I, I run in the streets screaming Donovan Mitchell in the Knicks. <laughs> <laughs> really, uh, I want to see this guy. I, 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 I feel this the Donovan Mitchell wants to uh, come to the Knicks. Uh, but I, I need uh, I need to see uh, from the Jazz uh, how can be uh, this negotiation? How, how can be possible? Do you understand? From the Knicks, it's a very, very, very interesting. But in the Jazz, Jazz, uh, I I see Jazz uh, bring uh, so many picks, né, in these days. Uh, Spurs too. Jazz uh, want uh, rebuild. Jazz want uh, Victor. My, <laughs> my yeah, same name. Uh, the French, the super French in the next yeah. draft, man. Uh, what's your opinion about this? Because uh, uh, Knicks uh, have uh, a pick yet, uh, can be used né, in the in this negotiation. Uh, what's your opinion? Because uh, uh, needs uh, be interesting from Jazz too. In your opinion. How can be possible uh, from the Jazz, not the Knicks, from the Jazz, will be interesting uh, uh, this negotiation? Yeah, I think, I mean, the Knicks, they have, I think the Thunder are the only team with more future draft picks than, than the Knicks. Uh, uh, yes. We have about three in first round pick. I mean, some are protected. We have some extras mm -hmm. next year. We have the one. We have an extra one in 2025. Um, so we have draft picks to trade. So, you know, that's why I'm saying that I would be for the trade because, I mean, let's say we get it, it's before the draft. Let's just say hypothetically it's 2023. The draft of Victor Wembanyama, and we have four draft picks, or maybe we have two or three because of the protections. Like we're not draft we don't want to bring in three new rookies or something like that like we have no room for that so we i mean we're getting these draft picks i think so we can trade them and what you're saying about the jazz i think they're definitely trying to rebuild um mm -hmm. you know they're just tearing it down and getting draft picks and you know we've seen danny ainge their new uh you know their new president uh He's done this with the Boston Celtics before, mm -hmm. uh, where he's traded away players to get draft picks, and he rebuilt the Celtics. So I think he's going to do the same thing with the Jazz. And, you know, with Donovan Mitchell, it could be a hefty price because Gobert got, what, three unprotected first-round picks. So we probably have to trade a few unprotected firsts. And, you know... Like I said earlier, I think I don't think it's going to happen this summer. I think it might go. I think we're going to be reluctant to do that, but we're going to kind mm -hmm. of try to drive the price down a little bit and wait till the trade deadline. But, you know, we'll see because, like you said, they may just want to be the worst team in the league and tank so they could get. E aí, pessoal, este foi mais um vídeo aqui no canal Nick Fans Brasil. Espero que vocês tenham gostado, né? E como é de praxe, pessoal, você, você mesmo que está assistindo pela primeira vez o canal Unifens Brasil, não se esqueça de se inscrever, se inscreva aqui no canal Unifens Brasil. Não esqueça, né, você que já é inscrito, de ativar o sininho para notificação de novos vídeos e também sempre deixar o seu like, um comentário, compartilhar com os amigos, por que não, para ajudar com que o canal Nick Fans Brasil chegue cada vez em mais e mais pessoas, pessoal. Beleza? Conto com a ajuda de vocês, Nick Fans. Um abraço!